Hello my soccer universe. It took me quite a while to get finally a jersey for Italy's oldest club. And as I said in the unpacking video that I'm linking up here and maybe you wanna watch this before this video because it will all make a little bit more sense what I'm doing here. Maybe, maybe not. Jenna had some really nice jerseys. It was just never really the opportunity for me to get a Jenna jersey, mostly since I started this channel and you know want to expand my Serie A collection a little bit further. That Jenna were really crap. Let's put it this way. And yeah, recently they got a little bit better, but there were a few times where I really thought, I need to get Genoa. I mean, they're the oldest club in Italy. And yes, I will admit I was always more on the Sampdoria side in Genoa as well. And yeah, there have been some nasty rivalries between Genoa and Milan as well, which really didn't help. But the latter part was never really a reason why I didn't get a Genoa shirt. So yeah, I finally got this one and now, I have another one and I love my Kappa sales. I love my Kappa sales. Before we look at this shirt, you see already here this beautiful Fiorentina scarf. I have another one to add here. And yes, I'm kind of squeezing this into a Genoa video. It's not a Genoa scarf uh, because I order from a Kappa store that don't sell Genoa scarves. But it's another one adding a cityscape. Maybe not as great as this Fiorentina scarf, which is very much depicting the city as it is. It's a little bit more the outline like my Sparta Prague scarf and if you haven't seen that video you can watch it up here when I went to Prague and I got a really nice Sparta Prague scarf also with the cityscape of Prague. This one is from Bologna. I ordered from the Bologna store because my buddy Andy wanted to have a Ferguson jersey from the last season and I said, well, if I'm ordering from there already, let's add this scarf. And you see the cityscape there with, most importantly, the two towers that are kind of leaning. Yes, Bologna has two leaning towers. Really, really cool stuff. Bologna might not be as well known as, for instance, Florence, but it's also one of the more remarkable cities. And yes, all the pasta that you are eating with all the meats and so on, ravioli and spaghetti bolognese, is of course from Bologna. So yeah, really love that scarf. Uh, it adds something to it and I'm gonna add it now to the wall and then we'll unpack the Genoa jersey. And yes, Bologna is another team where I'm looking to add a third jersey already because I have a home and an away jersey, but they had some really nice third jerseys as well. But Genoa we go. I like the cup of sense in paper bags. It's also very nicely done with all the merci, danke, grazie, gracias, thank you is the last one. And of course the smallest one because it's the, longer, the longest one. That's the one way where English actually takes a whole lot more space than other languages. I had already opened this one to save ourselves some time and I was surprised that this didn't come in a bag. This was just literally coming off a hanger, I would say, and then was packed in. But, as I said, I saw this one during the Euros. I was reminded of that one for some reason whatsoever. And it was still costing 90. And I'm not quite 100% sure, but this might well be also the player version. And then the next day I get an email from Kappa that the price on the product that you were looking at has dropped. 50. Immediately said, I need to get this one. As always, double checked with my wife if it's okay. She said, of course, go for it. I love my wife. She's really, really understanding for my obsession. Now, which jersey is it that had me up so high? Yes, I'm sure this is the player version because it's very stretchy. Love that one. And I got it in double XL, my size. I think it's double XL. Yes, it's double XL. It is, of course, the 130 year third jersey from last season that they were wearing a few times already. And I have it without sponsors like this one here, which I have to say on one side, it would be nice to have the sponsors. On the other side, it makes this shirt looks a whole lot cleaner. And just look at this. I mean, it is what Kappa would call golden. Yes, it's beige, <laughs> if you would like, but for me it's golden. You have the Grifo just on its own. And then it says 130 years. That's something no other Italian team can say, of course, which makes this one special. And then you have the grief for printed all over on the front, which adds to the whole thing. And then of course, 1893 as an additional feature of the shirt makes for a really nice looking shirt. I actually like how nicely elasticated this one is. It's not um, the other couple style. I uh, find this kind of interesting. You have the same pattern, of course, on the sleeves as well. The one thing is because of the sponsor, because the sponsors are lacking, um, here's maybe a little bit too much of an expanse but you know genio had quite of quite a few sponsors so i guess it's all right 
I mean, I think the sponsors were even something Liguria, something locally, whatever. I have to check, check it out. But I'm quite pleased with uh, the fact that this is a plain shirt. Before I hang it up, the back has the same design and on the back it says Dall'inizio per sempre and then I'm not trying to say it in Italian because I don't know. Cento, trenta, trentesimo, whatever. There, I've said it. Whatever, 130th. So there you have it. Pretty short. Let's get it up. And just to confirm, no, I don't speak Italian. It's just I had Latin. I had learned some French, so on, so, you know, a little bit. But, you know, I'm all eyeballing Italian. Now, what I really like about this jersey is not only the color, which is amazing. It's really amazingly done, but also that you have the same color split here. You have a red side on the right with the accents here on the collar in red and red here also on sleeve on the other side in blue. The one thing teeny little criticism teeny little criticism yes the grifo is on the navy side the couple logos are all in navy so the navy actually dominates and it's also down here on the bottom i wonder if we couldn't have made this here on the bottom maybe red to balance out the colors a little bit more or even better cut it here in half as well i think this would have made this even better but on the other side it's a super classy jersey super classy jersey and i'm saying this because i usually like my wagers for january where they're also big white and incorporate the colors but last time around with have, having a shoulders it didn't quite connect with me as much as previous january jerseys did this one though this was my favorite january jersey last season and that included this one which i think is also a really cool one with the c in there but that one kind of a little bit amazing I would say. So yeah, two without the sponsors. Yes, to get sponsors, you probably would have or needed to order it from the club store, but you know, I like it without sponsors. Much cleaner, cleaner look, I would say. Any case, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!